Hey, Mr. Sat here. Today we are going to be talking about the basics of graphing. Let's dive into it right away. Let's get started. All right. I have a point, two, comma, three, and I want to go ahead and plot that point on the graph. That's one of the most basic things you can do when graphing, okay? The way points work or the way coordinate points work is you have a parenthesis, a space, a comma, a space, and another parenthesis. It kind of looks like a dude. Look at that. You got a little mouth. Mm, looks cute. All right, I'm just kidding. Anyway, so um, what you have here is you have what's called the x variable spot. X variables are called the independent variable. Um, that's any number that goes here on that horizontal axis. And then on the second spot, you have that as usually called the y variable spot. Um, or the dependent variable or anything related to the vertical axis, okay? Um, and if you look at the way the numbers work, um, to the right of this vertical line, we have positive x values. To the left of the vertical line, we have negative. And then above the x-axis, we have positive, And below, we have negative, okay? And you pretty much match your point with the given labels or um, axis points um, on the graph to go ahead and um, plot your point. So let's try that, okay? So what I usually do is I start at the middle or the origin it's called, zero comma zero, and uh, I just like to walk, pretend like I'm walking down streets. So like the, the grid lines and the graph paper are just streets um, and I'm just walking however many blocks it tells me to walk. So for the first one, the x variable is two. So I'm going to walk over a positive two blocks, okay? And then I am resting here if you look at where x is equal to two, okay? Then it asks me to go to y3. So after I've moved over to x2, I'm gonna move up because that's where um, three is, it's not down, that's where negative three is. Um, I'm gonna move up to where I see that, okay? And once I'm there, I can go ahead and plot my point, okay? So my point is right here at two comma three. Let's just try one more real quick, okay? With some negative numbers. Um, negative four, negative five. Let's go ahead and plot that. So again, I'm starting at the origin. This time I'm going to walk to the left um, to negative four. Bloop, 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 bloop. All right, so I don't put a dot there yet because again, I don't um, have the Y part into it, okay? Um, so let's go where it tells me on the Y. It says negative five for the Y. So once I've done my X, I'm then going to walk up or down to my Y. Um, this time I'm gonna walk down because it's negative. So I'm gonna go down to negative five and that's where my point is there, all right? And then you can go ahead and color that in. So that's basically how coordinate system works. Um, the, the worksheet that I have for you is going to ask you to go ahead and plot some points and then just go ahead and name a couple plotted points just so you guys can practice that a little bit more. You can never practice this too much, okay? Um, it's a very good skill to have, especially in mathematics. Now, on the other side, I want to show you a couple cool tricks on the graphing calculator. Um, when you hit the on button, um, there's all these different options for you to create. Um, there's the calculator, um, and then there's the graphing feature. We're gonna create a graph, okay? Um, graphs, for the most part, you can go ahead and type in your equations here, okay? So say, for example, I wanna type in um, just the line equation. So 2x, um, you go ahead and hit enter, and then it can go ahead and plot that um, graph for you, okay? What's new on the TI Inspire is you can go ahead and change your view up of the graph a little bit differently than you could on, say, for example, the older TIs, all right? First of all, if you look at your D-pad or your direction pad, um, you can go ahead right here in the middle here, you can control your mouse, okay? It's just kind of like one of those uh, finger track pads. I don't know how what they're actually called on like a laptop and you can go ahead and control your mouse up here. Now there's a couple different things I want you to notice. Normally it looks just like a normal mouse, okay? But when you hover over things, especially like for example an axis, they kind of light up and it kind of turns into like this symbol. Um, what that means is you kind of like have an open hand and you or the calculator is allowing you to go ahead and grab that thing, okay? Say for example, I grab one of the axis, um, axes or Axi, I don't know how the plural really works. I'm not really good with English. Um, but here we go. Um, if you go ahead and 
grab one of those, okay? Um, what you can do is you'll notice that the, the fingers clench. You can go ahead and stretch that um, X, Y axis um, axis points, okay? Um, or the grid, you can make it bigger or smaller, okay? So you can kind of zoom in this way or zoom out that way, okay? That's kind of a cool feature. Another thing is if you just go ahead and grab at any part of the graph, you can actually just kind of move the graph around and kind of just translate it up, down, left, right, um, the graph itself. So you can kind of move, um, if your like, graph is off the screen, you can kind of move your um, screen to wherever that graph might be, okay? Um, and you do that just by clicking, holding, and then just moving um, that uh, graphing window around, okay? And what's also cool is a lot of the graphs are interactive, okay? Um, the line graphs and especially the parabola graphs are very interactive. So especially with the line graph, you'll notice that it goes from a mouse to like these little kind of curvy arrows. You can go ahead and click and hold on to those and you can actually change a lot of things about your graph. You can change the slope of the graph. You can also change the y-intercept. Um, when you go to the graph and you see these little, you see the little cross with the arrows, you can go ahead and click down on that and you can actually translate your graph as well, okay? So you can move it up and down. So those are some of the cool features on these graphs. There's also a lot of other cool things to explore. If you hit the menu button on your calculator when the graph is open, um, there's all these cool things. Like for example, you can look at 3D graphing. Um, if you look down here to say, for example, analyze graph, um, you can look for minimum, zeros, intersections. Um, so there's a lot of really cool things you can do on these calculators that you could do on the other ones. It's just, I think these ones just make it a little bit more accessible and a little bit more easy to play with, okay? And it looks a lot nicer too, okay? If you have any questions about how to use the calculator or how to graph, you can always call me aside in class and I can answer those for you. Uh, but for now, that is all. Um, have a great day. See you next time.